All right, let's continue this news article. So yeah, BlackRock CIO says they have no Solana ETF plans in the near future. The BlackRock CIO Samara Cohen stated that introducing a Solana ETF is impractical as there is no demand for altcoins other than Ethereum. And that's pretty true out there. So on Monday, July 29th, in an interview with Bloomberg, BlackRock CIO for ETFs Samara Cohen confirmed that the firm is not planning to pursue any additional crypto ETFs, including spot Solana ETFs. In the near future, Cohen noted that while Bitcoin and Ethereum have met their expectations, no other altcoin is close to meeting that criteria. So yeah, there is no need for it. But BlackRock does have no appetite for a Solana ETF. While Bitcoin constitutes a 55% of the total crypto market, Ethereum has a share of 17%, and the rest of the altcoins are all below the double-digit cont contributions. Thus, there could be liquidity and manipulation concerns associated with introducing other crypto ETFs like the Solana ETF into the market. Now, BlackRock's Cohen said that there are major technical difficulties in bringing other crypto ETFs into the market, as the appetite for crypto ETFs, including Solana, isn't there. And in a Bloomberg interview, Cohen said that we really look at the investability to see what meets the criteria and what meets the bar to be delivered in an ETF. And for us, both in terms of investability and also what we hear from our clients, Bitcoin and Ethereum definitely meet that bar, but it'll be a while before we see anything else. So yeah, so no one's really looking to incorporate any other ones, like these two ETFs, that's basically really all we need. But Samara Cohen echoed the stand on BlackRock's head of digital assets, Robert Mishnick, while speaking at the Bitcoin conference last week. Mishnick said that there is no scope for future crypto ETFs in the market. And on the other hand, asset managers like Vanek are pushing ahead for the Solana ETF, stating that they are seeing strong demand from the crypto community. Last week, Solana price managed to overtake BNB for the fourth spot. However, amid the broader market sell, Sol is trading 5% down at $182 at press time. And again, a lot of those trades here were wash trading with the Solana meme tokens, being it look like there's transactions on there. But yeah, like, just because Van X pushing a Solana ETF doesn't mean BlackRock. I feel like BlackRock's just the main guys out there that if they want it, they're going to get it and everyone else will follow. But all the other guys, nah. But crypto ETFs to be part of the model portfolios. BlackRock's CIO Samara Cohen also stated that crypto ETFs would soon be part of the model portfolios by the end of 2024. Her statement came out answering the question asking where big fund houses such as Wells Fargo, Morgan Stanley, UBS, and others see were with onboarding and promoting crypto ETFs. She added that all these wire houses are conducting due diligence, risk analysis, etc. by weighing the role of BTC and ETH in their portfolios. Now, here's a tweet from Bloomberg. BlackRock CIO of the ETF Index Investment Center, Cohen discussed the iShares Ethereum Trust and expects we'll see allocations of crypto ETFs and multiple portfolios by the end of the year. And there's a little clip showing it. Now, BlackRock has successfully introduced the Ethereum ETF in the market last week, and BlackRock's ETHA continues to drive the most inflows among its peers. So, yeah, so if you're just curious if like we will be seeing a any future ETFs, don't count on it. Bitcoin and ETH, that's all we need. So yeah, so that's a straight from the bull's mouth or the chief institutional officer's mouth out there. <laughs> and yeah, let's move on.